These blackberry lemon cupcakes are soft, fluffy, and oozing with a luscious berry in the center that is bursting with flavor. Topped with fresh blackberry cream frosting for the ultimate treat. This will become your go-to cupcake recipe. Let's get right into it. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, add three eggs, three fourth cup of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Using an electric mixer, beat the mixture for two to three minutes until lightly pale. Now zest a lemon. Adding lemon will make your cupcakes extremely flavorful with a burst of freshness. When zesting lemons, limes, or oranges, you want to make sure to only remove the brightly colored flesh of the peel. Avoid the white part that's directly underneath the peel as this is quite bitter. Cut the same lemon in half and squeeze the juice directly onto your mixture. At this point, add half a cup of oil and 3 4 cup of buttermilk. Lightly mix just to combine. In a sifter, add 1 and 3 4 cups of flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Sift half of your ingredients directly onto your wet ingredients and mix to combine. Repeat the process with the second half of your dry ingredients. Sifting and mixing in batches will ensure there are no lumps. Do not overmix. Line a 12 cup muffin pan with cupcake liners. Spoon the batter into the liners, filling only two-thirds full to avoid spilling over the sides. For even portioning, I like to use this ice cream scoop with the trigger release. Bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 20 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. While the cupcakes are baking, let's prepare the blackberry jam. In a saucepan over medium-low heat, combine one cup of blackberries and a quarter cup of sugar. Heat until the sugar is melted. Turn the heat to medium and stir until it starts to simmer. Let the jam cook for 8 to 12 minutes making sure to stir to avoid any burning on the bottom. When done, use an immersion hand blender and blend your blackberries. Now combine two tablespoons of cornstarch with four tablespoons of water and mix well. Add this consistency to your blackberry and stir well until it thickens. Take it off the heat and transfer immediately to a separate bowl and let it cool completely to room temperature. At this point, your cupcakes are baked. Oh, my house smells amazing. The best part about these cupcakes is that they come out perfect each time, so even a beginner can master them. Transfer your cupcakes to a wire rack to cool completely at room temperature before frosting. Now take your cooled jam and transfer it to a piping bag. Save a third of your blackberry jam and set it aside. Use a cupcake icing nozzle or you can use a small knife as well to core the middle of your cupcakes. Go about one third down. Use the tops as a snack. Your children will enjoy them. Fill your cupcakes with blackberry jam. Just like that.
You can use any filling your heart desires. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, any seasonal fruit that you like. Now let's proceed with the frosting. In a deep bowl, add one and a half cups of cold heavy whipping cream, a third cup of powdered sugar, and the blackberry jam that we saved earlier. I'm also adding a cream stabilizer only because it's very hot here in California and it could be a challenge to get those stiff peaks. By the way, let me know in the comments what country are you watching my videos from? Stabilized whipped cream tastes the same as regular whipped cream, but it's thicker and longer lasting, making it good for planning ahead or piping onto desserts. My whipped cream is almost done and I'm checking the color. It's a light lavender and I can leave it like this, but I would like it a more intense lavender color. So I'm adding just a splash of purple food coloring. Mix for a few more seconds, scraping down the bowl as needed. This frosting is perfect and ready in no time. You can make this frosting a day in advance. Because you use the stabilizer powder, it won't lose its texture or release any of its liquid unlike standard whipped cream does. When ready, transfer to a piping bag with a star nuzzle and top your favorite cupcakes with gorgeous swirls of fresh, sweet and tangy homemade blackberry frosting. To make these beautiful rosettes, start in the middle and work your way around, closing the loop as you get close to the edge. Very simple and very pretty. Now top with your prettiest blackberries and use any help you can get. This is a fun recipe to make with your little ones. Add a few mint leaves for an extra pop of color. And these beautiful delicious cupcakes are ready to be enjoyed. I know they're too pretty, but we did not prepare them just to admire them. So let's slice into one and do the taste test. Oh my, look how gorgeous it looks when you slice it. The blackberry frosting tastes like biting into fresh berries. And the beautiful color combination makes these blackberry lemon cupcakes absolutely stunning. Your family and friends will love them. And so will you. Enjoy. See you next time. help her? She may not be able to reach. You gonna put your sprinklers on now? Mm. Putting more sprinklers? Oh, wow. <laughs>